In today's wrap-up, former Karabakh PM Araik Harutunyan will face Foreign Minister Masis Malian in a runoff on April 14th. Armenia's largest entertainment venue is to be converted into a COVID-19 treatment centre. Authorities have shut down metro, bus and minibus services in Armenia. A controversial law has passed giving authorities the ability to access citizens' phone data. And lockdown measures in Armenia have been extended for a further 10 days. The Central Electoral Commission of Nagorno-Karabakh has announced that there will be a presidential runoff on April 14th. Former Prime Minister Araik Harutunyan will face current Foreign Minister Masis Malian as neither candidate managed to garner over 50% of the vote. Harutunyan garnered 49% of the vote, Masis Malian garnered 26% and retired general and hero of Artsakh Vitali Balasanyan garnered 14.7% of the vote. 73% of eligible voters participated in the elections. The elections were criticized by some, including by Maelian, for not being postponed due to the coronavirus pandemic, although no cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed in Karabakh so far. Frontrunner Arei Karutunyan said in a press conference after the election that if the authorities in Stepanakert decide to postpone the runoff, he will support the decision. In terms of the parliamentary elections, five parties and blocs entered the National Assembly, with not one single entity able to form a majority government. Armenia's largest concert and sports hall is being converted into a COVID-19 treatment centre. The government has announced that preparations are underway to convert a number of other venues into COVID-19 treatment centres to treat the rising number of infected patients in the country. This came after photos appeared on social media of the foyer of the Grand Soviet-era concert and sports hall in Yerevan filled with beds. Armenian authorities have decided to implement stricter measures to contain the spread of COVID-19. Yerevan's metro will now be closed until further notice. Furthermore, bus and minibus services will also be suspended until further notice. On top of this, citizens will be required to only venture out their residence within a 500 meter radius, meaning that, combined with the suspension of public transport, interregional travel will be restricted. A controversial law has passed giving authorities the ability to access citizens' phone data. The law didn't pass in its second reading due to an insufficient amount of votes. However, the government amended parts of the law and this time pushed it through the National Assembly. The law may require mobile network providers to give authorities access to citizens' phone data, including their location. This is being done to track down people who have been in contact with coronavirus patients, although there are those who see the law as a gross breach of civil liberties. The government has also stipulated that data will only be gathered within the duration of the state of emergency and will be erased once the emergency state is lifted. And finally, Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan announced in a Facebook live stream on Tuesday that Armenia's lockdown will be extended for another 10 days. The lockdown was first declared on March 24 for one week, but due to rising cases, there will be an extension. Moreover, Health Minister Arsen Torosyan stated that yesterday 39 more cases were confirmed, bringing the total number of cases to 571. He also added, however, that with the current growth factors in Armenia, the country's doubling rate is currently similar to Japan, meaning that Armenia may have around 2,000 cases by mid-April, however this is a much lower growth rate than in Western Europe or the United States.